It's been three years since Cecil Holmes Jr. was murdered. His brother Dale remembers it like it was yesterday. It's very unfortunate um, the, the way that things played out. and. Um, I hate my brother's not here no more. Daryl says he and Cecil were close. That's why he says the minute Cecil took his last breath, he woke up from a deep sleep panicked. My heart was racing and I was looking around. I was like, calm down, nothing's, nothing's going on. And then um, I went downstairs to get in the bed. And then about 15 minutes later, my mom called me and said, oh my God, Cynthia called and said that uh, um, something's happened to your brother. Metro police say Tyrone Walker pulled the trigger, leaving Cecil for dead in an Edge Hill neighborhood parking lot. Earlier this month, detectives spot Walker getting into a car and follow it. After a short chase, they arrest him for murder. Darrell says Walker and his brother didn't know each other. He gets everything he deserves, let me say that. I say that um, what, as far as the time in jail and whatever sentence he gets, I hope he gets to serve it day for day and all the way out. Kiesha Holmes is Cecil's daughter. It took a long time, but it made me feel good that we finally got like justice for him. The family plans to attend the court hearings. I wish I could talk to him every day. Wish I could see him, hug him. I miss him. They're heartbroken to know Cecil won't see his grandkids grow up. His grandkids, he, he doesn't get to see that. He doesn't get to see his daughters grow up. He doesn't get to see any of the things over some nonsense. In Nashville, Sarah Smith, News 2.